hi welcome to the channel it is cambridge trading cards here and today you've got a bit of a different one for you you've seen from the title i've got cards from five decades um so full disclosure it was my birthday recently um and my family kids and um missus and everything bought me some cards as you can see here um what they didn't realize is they actually bought me different cards from five decades so i'll quickly go through it so i mean i'm i'm reaching a little bit because they so these ones are from 1989 and these ones are from 1990 so they're very close in you know the next year sort of thing but two different decades um so we kind of skip the new generation and the attitude era and then we go straight to 2006 these ones here, 2006. So, so we've got 80s, 90s, 2000s. We then go champions, which I've never opened. I've never opened it insider either. Um, so looking forward to them. And these are 2011. So that's cool. And then, so we've got the 2010s there. And then we've got 2020s. We've got this. So we'll finish with that. We'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll go in order. So let's start it off. I feel like I've been talking too long and not opening cards. Um, classic. These are the American ones, I believe. Um, let's go. I really enjoyed opening these the last time on the channel. So I'm looking forward to opening another pack. Especially when it's like your family and everything. It means a bit more, doesn't it? When it's, you know, they, they know what I like. <laughs> um, Right, starting off with a Dusty Rhodes. Really good condition, these cards. Nice, not stuck together. Hercules. Sensational Sherry. Mr. Perfect. That's like one of his first cards. Uh, Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South. Andre the Giant. Quite a cool one. Uh, Brother Love. Keem, Bad News Brown, I hated him when I was growing up, <laughs> really didn't like him, uh, Honky Tonk Man, oh nice, very early Rockers card, shame you can't really see Sean on it, but still a cool card, The Birdman, Coco Beware, best commentator in wrestling history, Bobby the Brain Heenan, and the last, oh no, there's two cards. Oh yeah, we've got our, um, I can't feel what they are, logo card, there you go. So Dino Bravo, and then we had Simply Ravishing, Ravishing Rick Rude. Unfortunately, I have actually got that one, so there you go. Right. One year later. We're into the 90s. We've left the 80s behind. I would have been like three years old when these cards came out. Right, we got the Ultimate Warrior and Bobby the Brain Healing. That's a cool one. I've got sets of these, as I mentioned in the previous video, but I don't actually remember that card. Um, Hulk and Macho. Nice. The Rockers and Akeem. Uh... I can see Virgil, obviously, and oh, heaven, is that Jake the Snake? Oh, Brutus Beefcake, there you go. The Warrior and Rick Rude. Oh, the Warrior and Rick Rude again. Those tights are awesome. All of Rick Rude's tights were usually pretty awesome. And again. And then we've got... Uh, Andre and Haku, obviously missing the missing the target there. Uh, Million Dollar Man, a Warlord, a Barbarian. There you go, Barbarian. Uh, Rod the Roddle, <laughs> the model Rick Martel, Money Inc. That's a cool one. Dino Bravo, 
Earthquake. And then the final card is Axor, Jim Duggan and Dino Bravo. Nice. Cool. So now we'll skip ahead a fair few years. So we're, we're not doing the new generation. We're not doing um, the Attitude Era. We're going straight to 2006. We're going past Ruthless Aggression. Right, now you get a coin with these. So let's see what the coin is. Ray Mysterio coin. Let's open that up. 20 of 24. Right, cool. 619. There you go. My lucky Ray. There you go. Go with Eddie. Ooh. Right, now I've never opened these. I, I have a full set of the greens. Um, and I've got a few of these coloured parallels. I don't know if these are like coloured parallels or rare. I will just quickly give you the pack odds on these. I think it's something like, yeah, Diva foil cards, one in three packs, or Champion foil cards, one in six. So you never know, we might get one. Uh, starting off with a purple Maria. And we've got a yellow coach. Or we've got a foil. Looks like a Divas card. Damn, nice. That's Trish Stratus on the Divas card. These cards actually don't do badly on online either. So that's a pretty good pull. It's in the corners. Oh, really good. Um, might quickly top load that one. Chris Masters. <clears throat> Mark Henry. And the last card, William Regal. Yeah, let's just really quickly. Um, very quickly top load it. Nice. Cool. So now we are in the 2010s. Things are getting serious. We're getting grown up now. <laughs> um, 2011. So... These ones, the odds, foil cards, one in three, autograph cards, one in 150. So you never know, there's a possibility. Um, but yeah, looking forward to opening these as I have never opened them. Not that I can remember anyway, maybe I have and I'm tripping, but who you knows, let's see. No, I don't think I have. Let's just move the pack over there, cool. So we're starting off with a Triple H and Sheamus. That's pedigree. Big Daddy Cool Diesel and our man Ray. We got something after this one. I might go from the back. Uh, we got good old JR. Slobber Knocker himself. Let's go from the back. Uh, Daniel Bryan and Seamus. This one. Is that Eve Torres? I'm not sure. Yeah, Eve Torres. Right, and then this one is The Big Show. Is it Big Show and Jericho? Yeah, I think so. Or Big Show and Miz, sorry. <clears throat> right, and then this looks like a foil card. So let's see what it is. It is a Stone Cold Steve Austin foil card. What did it say? Foil cards are one in three. So we did, at least we got the foil card and it's somebody that I kind of half collect. You know what I mean? You know, like I wouldn't, I don't really sell Stone Cold cards when I sell cards. Um, I, yeah, I usually keep them and I've got like a half, half ass PC, I would say. <laughs> cool. So nice Stone Cold there. Um, and yeah, right now we're in the 2020s. We're, we're present day. We're, we're adults. Oh, I'm an adult. <laughs> Let's get, I was a fucking adult in 2011. Yeah. Not necessarily acting like one. Um, right, let's go. So we're looking for, we've opened a few of these. We've had some autos, we've had some action pack. Um, these now in the UK are pretty much sold out everywhere. So, um, and the numbered card's usually in that one. So I'm gonna shove that on the bottom. And hope that I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'll probably open this second pack now and it will be in, in, in the second pack, won't it? Right, so we're looking for autographs and we're looking for 
um, number cards, and most importantly, action packed. Right, Isle of Dawn, Gigi, Classics, Razor Ramon, Origins, Gunter, RVD on the Court Kings, can't remember what it's called. And then we have our bronze EO, nice. And then on the back, limited of Bianca Belair. So Chronicles, I'll, I'll put it out there. Favorite release. I'm gonna say favorite Panini release ever. And that includes Prism, that includes Select. I, I really like this product. The way they've done it with the blasters and the hobby has been really good. Even though my hobby box was trash, um, I still I still think it's a great product. Uh, Carmella, AJ, Blair Davenport, and then on the season tickets we got JC. Golden Age is Andre. And then we've got Live on the Luminance, quite cool one. And then the back card is Becky Lynch on the bronze. That's Illusions. And we've got Kyrian Cross. We've got Joe Gacy. Looks like our um, flash, so you get one silver flash per box, and that looks like it's in here. Bret Hart, Michael Cole, and if we go from the back, we've got LA Knight on the Illusions. We have got on the Bronze, Booker T, and then our Honours, our Flash is the Road Dog, Jesse James, nice. I think in my hobby box I pulled like the to 49 of that. So. Oh, can't open this one. Seriously, can I open it? Wow. Right. So we have Sol Ruka. It's a rookie. Uh, Die Jack, Alba Fire. I don't know if you can see that just on the corner there. That rounded there means it's we've got an action packed in here, so we're, we're beating the odds on the action packed. Uh, Origins Roman Reigns, Undertaker. Then we've got a bronze Finn Balor, and our AP. Oh, it's one of the good ones. It's Mankind. I do already have this one. I um, got it in a break, but... Man, I'm not... That is, yeah, one of my favourite cards ever, I think. And, you know, in terms of um, cards of this match, yeah, this is up there for me. Cool. Uh, two to go. So we've had our action packed. We haven't had our numbered cards, so that would definitely suggest it was in that first one. Um, right, so we start off with Cody Rhodes, Zia Lee, Grayson Waller, Carmella, and then we've got Cowboy Bob on the Golden Age. We got the regular version of the Road Dog, and we have. Oh no, that doesn't need to go there, does it? And we have Braun Strowman on the XR, which is a bronze. Cool, right, last pack. It should have a number card. Let's hope. So although we didn't have a um, pack from the sort of Attitude Era, we did pull one of the best moments from the Attitude Era. So there you go. Still giving the people what they want. Um, Talking about that, Tiffany Stratton on the Chronicles, Charlotte Flair. We've got Golden Age of Bruno, 
luminance of Dom. And there's our numbered card. I forgot, <laughs> forgot about the number card. Um, LA Knight, two, three, four, nine, one, one, one. eBay one of one there. And then going from the back, we got on the certified, we got DDP. And the last card is a bronze Cora Jade. Cool. So, so let's have a quick look what we what we pulled. Let's take a quick look. I mean, you could argue these aren't the hits. These are my hits. So. <laughs> I've got that cool Warrior Bobby the Brain one there. Ravishing Rick Rude logo. We've got that Rockers. Andre. Mr. Perfect. Dusty Rhodes. Then from 2006 cards, we got the Foil um, Divas card, Trish. Can't complain. Then we got a Foil card from the Champion set, which was Stone Cold. And then from Chronicles, Bronze Parallels of Braun, Cora Jade, uh, Finn Balor, Becky Lynch, and EO Sky. Then our Flash was the Road Dog. And then two best cards from the box were the LA Knight 2349 and the Action Pack Mankind. So thanks for watching. Um, that wasn't like a planned video or anything. I didn't plan, you know what I mean? I didn't know what they were buying me. Um, I just thought it was a cool coincidence that they were actually, although slightly, you know, very close, some of them, um, they were from five different decades. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Take it easy.